Hi, this is Mike from Music Ministry 101 with 20 tips in 20 days for choir directors. Here's tip number 17. Okay, don't forget that I'm offering 10% on my Choir Essentials training program, which is for choir directors who are looking to just sharpen the saw, get their choir sounding better, and to recruit more members to their choir. So to get 10% off, you're going to follow the link in the description below and use the discount code at checkout, 10% OFF, which is all capitals and no spaces. It's really a steal for choir director training, and I hope you'll enjoy that program if you've gotten a lot out of these 20 tips. Okay, so tip number 17 is to use Google Drive or some other kind of file sharing platform. So I put all my song selections onto Google Drive, and I've been doing this for years and years. And I give access to all of the choir members and all of the instrumentalists and cantors. I give them access to this Google Drive so that they can see exactly what songs are coming up. So here's what my Google Drive looks like. There it is. And you can see probably a few weekends here with all of the song selections laid out nice and cleanly for all those different people. Anyone can log in to this document at any time. You know, in the middle of the night, people can log in and they can see what the songs are for the next day, the next week, or as far as I've planned out. Now, what I like to do is I like to set up a finalizing color. So a song that's not finalized will look like this. And once it becomes finalized, like I've decided that this is gonna be the song for that weekend, then I change it to the colored version, which you see here. What Google Drive does is it gets everyone on the same page. It allows anyone to go online and just find out what songs we're doing. If you have a secretary that types things up for the bulletin and puts the song numbers in the bulletin, this is an excellent way to get them off your back. <laughs> you put everything in Google Drive, you finalize it, and then they can go on at their own convenience and type the numbers in and put them in the bulletin. Also, it's good for your cantors to know what's coming up and to figure out for themselves what they need to look at so that they can be prepared for the mass. Finally, we've all had choir members that need to know exactly when things happen and what's going on at exactly what time. You can refer them to this document, the Google Drive. They'll probably be logging on all day to see exactly what's going on. Just kidding about that, but the point is they can see in real time what's going on, what's expected of them, and what songs they're gonna be doing. So it's a win-win for everyone. It doesn't really add hardly any extra work. I think it saves time actually. It makes your people happier, and it makes your program much more organized than kind of handing people a piece of paper at the last moment or even dictating to them a million times what songs you're gonna be doing. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and I'll see you in the next one. If you are someone that regularly works with amateur singers and you've been enjoying these tips, please click on the link in the description below to check out my Choir Essentials training program. It is an online video training program that will help you to hone your skills as a choir director. Whether you need to recruit more members, get them to sound professional, in tune, with a clear and free tone, or if you need help with working with difficult members or keeping your members happy in general, this program is for you. So I encourage you to click the link in the description below and check it out. And if you found this particular tip to be useful, I'd love to know that you're here and that I should keep producing this content for you, so please smash the like button below as well. If you'd like to build your choir or start one, if you'd like to get your choir sounding professional with perfect harmony, rhythm, and vocal blend, if you'd like to motivate your choir to learn new songs and harmonies without any hassle, I'd like to invite you to try my Choir Essentials training program today. Hi, my name is Michael Carney from Music Ministry 101. Over the past 15 years, I've been able to grow and improve several choir programs in churches and in schools from just a few members to hundreds more. And during that time, 
I've had the honor of leading choirs of all ages and sizes into successful performances. As I've become more successful with choir directing, a lot of people started to ask me for tips and advice that they could use to create more success for themselves. I've created a training program that contains the most important things I've learned about growing a choir, getting them to sound great, and running a successful choir program. And you can watch them all now in my Choir Essentials training program. You'll learn everything from my step-by-step -step approach to recruiting adult and youth choir members, to the best ways to teach harmony without having pushback from your singers, and the quickest and best ways to improve your choir's sound, whether it be an issue of vocal blend, pitch, or rhythm. My ideas and methods have impacted people around the world, and I know I can help you to build the successful choir that you've always wanted to achieve. Just visit me at musicministry101.com and try my Choir Essentials training program today. It is risk-free for 30 days and will guarantee that you will massively improve your choir program. Thanks for checking out my channel.